The man of Asian origin had been apprehended inside a house full of thick printing cartridges. Stuck up high in most of the rooms, Sam even made for his bed, nestling his mattress above the floor. This was a couple of years ago, but even today the country is still having problems with counterfeit products. The Puma number one logo is also wrong. Just today the anti-counterfeit agency was destroying hundreds of pairs of shoes, all bearing major labels, but all not genuine. The Kenyan market is flooded with counterfeit goods from beauty products to food and alcohol and even electronics. So these are the ones that cause a lot of short circuiting. A lot the best way they can tell a product is fake is if the bearer of the trademark and brand didn't authorize the manufacturer to produce it. The anti-counterfeit agency attributes the thriving of the illegal sector mainly to inadequate checks at the ports. For instance, according to the agency, only 1% of goods leaving China are inspected. Yet that is their main source. What is manufactured or made in Kenya forms a very small percentage. Majority of the things come from China. And they come from China either direct or through Dubai. There is also the love for cheap when things it, or big brands that the buyer may not be able to afford. There are very many people who have arrested. And uh, the cry has always been the same. They say that if I have a genuine, Kenyans will not buy. They come and say, I have 5,000 and I want a Galaxy. Or I have 4,000 and I want a Samsung. And the gym in Samsung will never go for that much. So they're saying that's why we have to give them this. So there is that market. It's difficult to stop people from, I mean, to prevent people from going for cheap things. Kenya has been listed as among the countries that rebrand or repackage counterfeited goods, mostly for re-export to other African countries. The counterfeit business in Kenya is estimated to be worth 30 billion shillings. Yet it is also very dangerous because most of the counterfeit goods are substandard. They cannot they withstand the, the resistance, the, 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 electric, the current. Their resistance is weak. You find them melting. And these ones cause fire. The agency says it is educating Kenyans on the effects of counterfeits, but more also needs to be done by the countries producing them. But it is not a knock. You see, when you look, it's an M house. Andrew Ochieng, NTV. But see, if you sell it to somebody, those who don't know.